Hello everyone. Today I'm making a video on how to find that right starter bike for you. Uh, this is one of, my, one of my most frequently asked questions is, I have this much money, what bike should I get? And I can't tell you personally what bike to get, so I'm just going to go through a rundown of some of the things that you're looking for. Now first off, for a first starter bike, if you're getting serious, you're going to want to be dropping like 350 to 400 bucks, most likely. That's probably the price range you're looking for, anything less than that, and it really won't be that good. Now first off, you want to make sure that the front wheel and the rear wheel are sealed. You don't want any of that unsealed or semi-sealed crap. You want it to be sealed because if they're unsealed, that's not going to last long and then within a few months you're going to be spending another like 150 on the front wheel or like 200 on the back wheel. And if you would have just spent that extra $50 or so um, to begin with to get the sealed hubs, then you're good. You also want to make sure that the bottom bracket is sealed. Uh, nowadays they're going to be either made or Spanish. Um, I don't suggest getting a frame with an American bottom bracket because those are kind of outdated. And you want to make sure that your head tube is not standard and that it's integrated. The standard head tubes, they're generally unsealed and that's just crap. I had an unsealed head tube and, or a standard head tube or a headset and it crapped out on me and it's just not good at all. Next thing you're looking for is most bikes you're going to have 25 9 gearing. If it doesn't it's like 3010 or something. You generally don't want a big like 4416 or something because that just gets in the way. Um, if you want that though you can have that. Um, generally, you want to start out with a cassette hub. Don't fall for the stolen completes with the free coaster thing because I've heard that those free coasters are crap. And if you're just starting out, there's no need for you to be getting a free coaster. You should be running a cassette. Um, also, um, for your handlebars, you should be getting a bike with a pair of chromoly handlebars. They're not going to be heat treated, but they will still be a lot better than the high tensile steel. Um, it's not a must have, but it helps. And also for your forks, you want to find a bike that has chromoly forks. You don't just want the sear tube to be chromoly. Yeah, that's a bonus, but really you want the legs and the dropouts to be chromoly too, because otherwise when you're doing grind, then those dropouts are going to bend really fast, because those dropouts won't be heat treated like if you get a set of aftermarket forks, then those forks are just going to bend even faster if they're high tensile steel. So if it says, um, like, chromoly steer tube, then you want a full chromoly fork, not the just chromoly steer tube. And also, for your frame, sometimes it'll say, like, full chromoly or, like, chromoly front triangle or, like, 4130 chromo, like, some other random crap, I don't know. But you do not want a full high tensile steel frame because that thing is going to crack on you and it's going to snap. Uh, you want at least a little bit of chromoly in it, at least the front triangle, and maybe sometimes they do like the the chain stays or the seat stays. Usually it's hard to get like a full chromoly frame, but you at least want the front triangle to be chromoly. Sometimes they do just the down tube because that's the one that tends to get cracked a lot. But make sure that you have at least a little bit of chromoly in it. Don't get a high tensile steel frame because it's not going to last you long at all. Um, pedals doesn't really matter. Sprocket doesn't really matter. Chain doesn't really matter. Pegs doesn't really matter. You tend to get new stuff of those. And really just don't buy any new parts for your bike until they break because you spend your money getting like a new set of handlebars, that's an extra 50 bucks could save that 50 bucks, invest it into a more expensive bike that will probably be better for you and save you more money in the long run than when you snap those handlebars and just get a new pair because down the line you may mess up your wheel, your cranks might snap on you, you might need a new seat, you never know. So hopefully you can just take these tips, go online, search like dance comp or something, 
go to your local bike shop, they have the books on all the bikes they have in stock. Or if you like find a bike you like on Dancecom, you can go to your local bike shop, see if they have it, if they don't, have them order it for you. Shouldn't really be all that hard. And I hope that with all this information that you guys are able to uh, find that good bike that you need. And yeah, good luck. So hopefully I don't get any more questions about this. And if I do, I will direct you to this video. Thank you very much and I hope you have a good day.